Hey guys, we're from the channel, Top Musicians, and here's the story of Kim Petras. Kim Petras is a German singer and songwriter, born on August 27, 1992, in the vibrant city of Cologne, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. From a young age, Kim knew she was a girl, despite being assigned male at birth. Her unwavering conviction in her identity led her to insist on her true self from the age of two. Although her parents initially believed it to be a phase, they soon came to understand and support her journey as a transgender woman. As a teenager, Kim's passion for music became apparent as she started recording her songs. In 2011, she released her first extended play, EP, One Piece of Tape, which showcased her burgeoning talent. Kim's journey in the music industry gained momentum in 2017 when she independently released her debut single, I Don't Want It At All. The infectious track, produced by industry heavyweights Dr. Luke and Circuit, quickly became a global sensation, topping international Spotify charts and catching the attention of music enthusiasts worldwide. Kim Petras quickly established herself as a rising star in the pop music landscape. With her mesmerizing vocals, electrifying dance pop beats, and charismatic stage presence, she captivated audiences and earned a dedicated fanbase. Subsequent singles, such as, Hills, Can't Do Better, Hillside Boys, Slow It Down, Hard To Break, Faded, All The Time, Homework, If You Think About Me, and, One, Two, Three Days E Up, featuring music producer Sophie, further solidified her status as a pop icon. Her debut project, Era One, was a collection of these hit singles, showcasing the range of her musical talents and establishing her as an artist to watch. The album garnered critical acclaim and cemented her position as a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. In October 2018, Kim Petras treated her fans to a Halloween-themed EP titled, Turn Off the Light, Volume 1. The project displayed her creativity and passion for the holiday, drawing inspiration from dark and haunting sounds while maintaining her signature dance-pop vibes. This EP proved her ability to experiment with different themes and musical styles, elevating her artistry to new heights. However, it was her debut studio album, Clarity, released in 2019, that truly showcased her growth as an artist. With this album, Petras delved into deeper and more personal themes, exploring love, relationships, sexuality, and the complexity of human emotion. The album's songs, backed by dance pop, electropop, hip-hop, and R&B melodies, resonated with audiences, earning her widespread acclaim from both critics and fans alike. Continuing her trajectory of artistic evolution, Kim Petras released her second studio album, Turn Off the Light, in October of the same year. The album further explored the haunting and atmospheric themes of Halloween, embracing the darkness and turning it into something both danceable and captivating. In 2021, Kim's career reached new heights when she signed with the renowned record label Republic Records. This milestone brought her increased recognition and support, propelling her towards the release of her highly anticipated debut studio album. Working tirelessly on her new music, she introduced fans to captivating singles like Future Starts Now and Coconuts, hinting at a collection that would truly define her artistry. In February 2022, Kim Petras released the EP, Slut Pop, demonstrating her unapologetic and empowering expression of sexuality. The project showcased her versatility as an artist, unafraid to push boundaries and address topics that are often considered taboo. Notably, her collaboration with Sam Smith on the powerful song, Unholy, became a career-defining moment. Released in 2022, the song broke barriers, making her the first openly transgender woman to win a Grammy Award. The achievement not only celebrated her immense talent but also marked a significant milestone for representation and inclusivity in the music industry. Throughout her journey, Kim Petras has faced both adulation and criticism. One notable aspect of her career has been her association with producer Dr. Luke, who has been accused of abusive behavior by other artists. Despite this controversy, Petras has remained committed to her artistic vision and continues to create music that resonates with her fans and speaks to the human experience. Kim Petras's music is an enchanting fusion of late 1990s early 2000s pop and 1980s Italo disco. She draws inspiration from iconic artists such as Lady Gaga, Beyonce, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, 
Kylie Minogue, Madonna, and Spice Girls, to name a few. Her music's upbeat and danceable nature serves as an escape, allowing listeners to immerse themselves in her captivating melodies and forget their troubles, even if just for a few minutes. Beyond her musical prowess, Kim Petras's advocacy for LGBTQ plus rights and her unapologetic authenticity have endeared her to fans worldwide. Her journey as a transgender individual has been marked by significant media attention, making her an inspiration for countless people embracing their true selves. In conclusion, Kim Petras's talent, resilience, and commitment to her art have solidified her position as a trailblazing figure in the music industry. Through her music, she has not only entertained but also challenged societal norms, breaking barriers, and paving the way for greater inclusivity and representation in the world of pop music. With her promising future ahead, Kim Petras continues to prove that she is a true force in the world of music and an icon for generations to come. This is a bit of history, Kim Petras. We are producing videos on Wednesdays and Sundays here on the channel, if you liked it, don't forget to leave your like and activate the notification bell to stay on top of all the news, I'll wait for you in the next video.